Hello everyone, welcome back to my UE Team Officer channel. Today I'm Mr. Chui e again and I will teach you how to make a loops animation inside the video by using the Vimbra. As you can see here in my video is now a looping with the only JPEG uh, image file only. So now let's get started. I have um, five file of them that I have already created by myself in the last video that I have already taught you how to do all kind of this image that have this file file is I have already taught you so you can check it out in my description below or you can um, click on the top video appearing on the screen right now and you will see how to do this file size so now let's get start. The first we generally we focus on the background first. So we simply drag it like this to the background and you can see everything is now became a background just like that. And the next step we're gonna add to uh, the image that you really want to loop it from one place to the other. Or we can say you want to scroll that it makes so now go ahead and click like this click on add this and then this time we're not gonna move anything just inside outside the screen so keep the image just inside the first starting of the screen and now double click on that and remove the white part color so go to chroma key like this and click the pencil and select the white chroma key here and now the next step we're gonna add scrolling effects to that it makes to make it like a uh, looping or moving so go ahead and uh, double click on it again and this time we go to animation and then make sure that you are, are on the first frame of the video and click on add and then drag it to the ending point of the last frame video here. So now, um, thing that we're gonna do is click once on this video and then starting to drag it like this until it is disappearing like this, okay? And then click OK. After that, we have already found that we have a keyframe just inside the video it look like an, uh, a green yellow keys mark is appearing like this so now let's get start to play what is happening now okay now you can see it it is a uh, rolling or scrolling like this and the next step we gonna do is um, we're going to the first up uh this one uh because the area mix would be starting from this place and start to roll over to uh scrolling follow the first image so the thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add one more image like this and then drag it to um this part of the image and then you, this time we're gonna do the same to remove the white color background. So if you are using a transparent background, it's good for you to do that. But I have used with a free version of uh, image creation. So now this time we're gonna add the keyframe to that image too. So double click on that and go to animation again. And then this time we're gonna click the add the same, and then scroll this image to the last up frame here, to the last frame, and uh, like this to make sure that you are following this, following this because uh, you should keep some little part of that image to make uh, it is following to uh, that place, and here is um the way that uh, we're gonna add okay drag it to be fit on the first one frame image and then click OK 
And now let's get play again. And uh, it looks like everything is uh, running the same, but the make it look like have a small hole just inside it. So you get you need to increase um, some size of the image. So now let's get start again. Okay. And now everything is uh, working fine now. So if you want, uh, you really want to make it slower, so you need to drag it like this. So go ahead and drag it to uh, as long as enough that you think it is uh, suitable of uh, the speed. And then we starting to drag it this also to uh, the ending part of uh, the frame. So now let's get started. Again, now you can see it. Uh, everything is not very fast right now. Uh, it it look like it is enough, and it, it is my fault that uh, I have uh, moving or shaking my hand when I have removed the keyframe. So, and this is the way. And the next step that we can now we're gonna try is to add uh, a boat that's inside that, so we need to remove the key chroma key also, so select this one and also but now to make it smaller <coughs> okay, this place and you cannot uh, re um, you cannot uh, drag, so you need to, to right, uh, click on control and then drag it to this place like this and then let's check it out <coughs> it looks like everything is running uh, properly and the next step is we're gonna add one more mix to uh, this one place and make sure you have been selected uh, after it is start running like this and it should be coming with this one Okay, it's it should be the same to this one, and it is my trick. I I hope you guys understand it, and you can do it or adjust it by yourself at home. So not about click on that and select to remove um, the white background color just inside this. So now we have already removed it, and now the next step is. Um, we make this uh, image to loops also. So double click on the image that you want to loop again and do, go to animation and then click on add. And then on this place we're gonna drag to the last frame of the video. So, and uh, we're starting to move it like this again. Okay, starting to disappearing like this. And then click OK. Now we're gonna start to play what is happening now. Okay, now it um, really works. But uh, just so to add the other one like this to uh, make it follow from each other. So now we're doing the same to remove the white background. Click on that and then OK. And then this time we're going to add keyframes animation. So click on add and then starting to this place and keep it some small part like this. And then we're going to starting to scroll that image also. Uh, just like this and click OK and now we have to um, we make that look like they are rolling or scrolling by itself now and the next step we're going to add the boat uh, to the screen so uh, we simply drag it like this and select the keep project setting 
and then we see the boat here already blue screen and it is in and um, so you have to remove the grammar key screen just like this and select the part that and then click to remove it like this and like this we gonna make it smaller so now we're gonna wait a minute um, this part is look like they have a hole inside so now we're gonna make it smaller to uh, this place okay we we don't need to do any things more uh, between this boat because uh, we already have the animation with that boat so don't need to do anything more again and uh, so now go to the first of the frame and now we're gonna start to play it it look like the boat is uh, running faster now okay this is the way that uh, you're gonna loop the image of your video and so thank you guys for watching my video tutorial okay now it already now okay let's check it out it worked fine so thank you for watching again and uh, the, if you are the first coming of this channel please click on the subscribe or like button to get more video tutorial from me so thank you